Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video on decommissioning of INS Sindhu Dwaj. We also talked about the existing submarine strength of Indian Navy and challenges for the project 75i. So we will not discuss more on that. In case you have missed the video, please check the link in the description section. Now there are some updates related to indigenous development of diesel attack conventional submarine or project 76. But before we discuss further, let's try to understand why India even after 75 years of independence cannot design an indigenous diesel attack submarine. If you look at India's submarine development history, the country has been able to indigenously build conventional and nuclear propelled submarines. However, submarine designing is the area where it needs assistance from foreign OEMs. The submarine building has two components, know-how and know-why. Know-how means that the foreign OEM provides the design and 100% absorption of technology to build a submarine. In last 30 years, India has acquired technology for Type 209, the Scorpion and importantly making its own nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines and has an approved plan to make nuclear-powered attack submarine. The 6th Scorpion class submarine has been built under know-how scheme. MDL required assistance for building the first submarine from French Naval Group. However, from second submarine onwards, MDL was able to construct by their own. The know why is where the foreign OEM provides the complete TOT for constructing the submarine. The major challenge with such program is the hesitation of OEMs to share the formula of certain components and techniques which have evolved over the year and comes with experience. Besides French Scorpion class, MDL has also experienced with German type 209 class or Shishu Mar class submarine. Back in 1981, India signed a contract with German company HDW for four of its type 209 class submarine with full transfer of technology to, to be built in Germany and two in India. In 1985, Two more were planned, but the kickback scandal led to their cancellation. However, the transfer of technology was comprehensive. A multidisciplinary design team was also trained for almost two years in Germany to acquire knowledge of HDW submarine design with access to relevant software, design data, empirical formula, linked values of design coefficients and were considered capable of designing a conventional submarine. This team now forms the backbone of Submarine Design Group SDG, a premier organization of Indian Navy. The SDG designed a submarine based on Type 209, giving it the designation of Type 1500 under Project 75, but needed design validation, which required foreign assistance. This was later given up for going ahead with French Scorpion class submarine which was considered more advanced than Type 1500. So by now you would have got an idea that why India cannot design its own diesel attack or conventional submarine even after constructing 6 Scorpion class and 2 Type 209 class submarine. Under the Project 75i, India is working under strategic partnership route to build six conventional submarines with MDL and LNT being the strategic partners. The foreign OEMs who have shown their interest in Project 75i are German's TKMS and Spanish Nevencia. On 7 June 2023, TKMS and MDL has signed a memorandum of understanding for the construction of submarine under Project 75i. On July 19th, Spain's Nevencia and LNT signed a teaming agreement to submit a techno-commercial bid for Indian Navy's Project 25i submarine program. Under Project 25i, India aims to field six conventional submarines with help of foreign ship builders. India is also working towards designing the indigenous submarine. Under Project 76, the Warship Design Bureau of Indian Navy is working on a conventional diesel electric submarine design with AIP technology that will be the future of India's submarine plan focusing on systems and technology that submarine must have. It is being designed with keeping in mind 
the development of some of the key and futuristic technologies such as weapon control system AIP and lithium ion batteries the design phase of this submarine is expected to be complete in another one and a half year further refinement and testing and development of critical submarine technologies will be undertaken to commence its prototype construction which can be expected by 2028 this project is extremely important for india's submarine building capability because it will help india to decouple its dependency on foreign oems for submarine design mdl has also initiated the design and development of indigenous midget submarine which is being called as ms x02a the submarine will have minimal acoustic and electromagnetic signatures it will be integrated with state of art sonar gps ins and communication systems it will support both ship launched and independent operations mdl has completed the design of this midget submarine the construction of midget submarine prototype has also commenced mdl has reported that its midget submarine will be india's first truly indigenous conventional submarine prototype as a proof of concept mdl has successfully pressure tested the hull of its midget submarine on 22nd july 2023 the hull testing was conducted at mdl's unique land based submarine test facility from the images shared by mdl you can get an idea of the submarine's size another image of this submarine was surfaced on 18 september 2023 when mdl shared the image of 63rd ndc naval course visit here we can get the glimpse of mdl's midget submarine under construction though it is not very clear mdl is confident that it will be able to complete the submarine development by 2024 This is also seen as a step by MDL to design its own indigenous conventional submarine from the experience gained from Culvery and German type 209 class of submarines. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.